Today, I am Dan Uruji Dorosari, only child of Dr. Dan Dorosari and Dizel Khan Dorosari from Taitai Palau. I am a great then science, technology, and engineering student of Central Taitai National High School under the advisory of Mount Emery Mapas Kalimutan. <laughs> I will be presenting to you my science investigatory project entitled Interconnected Central Taitai National High School Application or ICT and HS In brevity, as partial fulfillment of the research tense of record, my presentation is divided into five parts. Number one, background of the study. Number two, statement of the problem. Number three, significance of the study. Number four, definition of key terms. Number five, hypothesis. The world is currently facing different hazards from both natural and man-made calamities like flood, fire, and similar underwater incidents. Now, the world is battling against COVID-19 pandemic, and the school communities are greatly affected. Face-to-face -face classes have been suspended in the entire Philippines from 2020 to 2020. But the rise of global temperature will need the polar ice sheets and glaciers and add volume to the water in the ocean. This correspondingly results in the rise of the sea level. By turn of 2009, top climate scientists warned that the rising of sea levels would go faster based on the latest data. The estimated rise could exceed 1 meter and unlikely to pass than 50 centimeters at the end of the century. Being composed of climates, the Philippines is vulnerable to sea level rise. It is estimated that the country will lose 661.6 kilometers or about 0.2% of its total land area to a 1 meter sea level rise. The comprehensive land use study of Taitai Palawan mentioned that Imoropa region, of which Taitai is a part, will lose 75.8 km per square or 0.3% of its land area. The region ranked third among the regions in the Philippines considered most vulnerable to climate change. It is no accident that there are schools going to flood. There is a systemic issue to some of this. Many public schools are built on land that is donated by and purchased by the local government units on behalf of the schools. In urban areas, land is so expensive that the schools end up being built on land that is flood prone. LGUs have a critical role to play with in planning land use and understanding the hazards to craft and elevate intervention. Fire. The Philippine Bureau of Fire Protection responded to 16,408 fire incidents nationwide from January to October 2019, a 14.33% increase over the 14.364 recorded during the same period in 2018. Taitai has, has five fire incidents from the January to October 2021 with estimated damages nearing 8 million pesos. COVID-19 pandemic. As of November 9, 2021, Philippines has a total coronavirus cases of 2,805,290. Of which 44,521 people died, while 2,728,696 survived. While the municipality of Taitai recorded a total of 1,177 COVID 19 cases with 19 deaths and 1,061 recoveries, there are 65 deaf employees who have gotten infected by the virus. 
Republic Act Number 101021 regarding Philippine Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Act of 2010 and the Order Number 21 Series 2015 regarding Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Coordination and Information Management Protocol. All schools are directed to form reconstitute their school disaster risk reduction and management committee to spearhead the conduct of disaster risk reduction slash climate change adaptation DRR CCA related programs, projects, activities in their respective schools. Statement of the problem. The researcher wanted to help the faculty and staff of CTMHS, the centralians and the community to get free, correct and timely information preparation and thereby reducing risks in time of underwater, natural, and man-made calamities, and at the same time, providing detailed information to all app users. Every time there is a school activity by developing an application that will serve as a messenger mode, using apps blast messaging and guide guide by using them up. Specifically, it seeks to answer the following questions. Number one, the capacity of the app to provide correct, detailed, and timely information during but not limited to the following situations. A. Preparation and thereby reducing risks in time of untoward natural and man-made calamities. B. Special announcement from the CTMHS about COVID-19 updates, class suspensions, and markings and the other related informations and C. Special announcements from the CNHS in relation to any school activity. Thus, the app will be of help to the community, CNHS faculty, staff, students, and parents. Three. Thus, the app is cost effective. Significant sort of story the local government, particularly the Taitai Municipal Disaster Risk Reduction Management Council. This app will be a great platform in disseminating free, correct, and timely information every time they have information they wanted to send the centralians. To the faculty and staff of CTNHS, this app will be an arm of sending free, correct, detail and timing information every time there is a special location or activity that they wanted to send the centurions and to the parents as well. It would be an arm of sending free, correct, detail and timing information every time there is a special location or activity that they need. They wanted to send to the centurions and to the community and every time they are not happy. The app is a reliable source of correct information when there is an award incident or they need to evacuate into the school who is still accommodated. Definition of terms In order to facilitate understanding of information complete in this study, the following terms are defined. Announcements Free, correct, and timely information to be provided by the app admins for the centralians to have enough time to prepare or systematically evacuate and thereby reducing risks in time of untoward natural man-made calamities. It also includes announcements related to COVID-19 matters. Disaster can be natural and man-made Underwater incidents that may affect the lives and properties of the CTNHS students and employees. CTNHS, set up the Thai National High School for School and Relative, pertains to the only national high school at Ubashin Taipei, Palawan, providing quality and free education, embracing the school ID number 309-103. ICT NHS application or ICT NHS app or app in 
is the application to be developed by the researcher. It is the mode of the restaurant for the scope and limitation. The finalization of this study was conducted during the time of pandemic, where sources of information are very limited. The primary beneficiaries of the study are sitting each employees, students, PTCA members, and all Titanos using Android smartphones. The information to be uploaded in this app are mainly with relation to disaster risk management and special announcement from the school affecting the lives of properties of the faculty, staff, and students in the BBC. The maximum benefit of the study can only be achieved when the cellular site is available in the area and the user has available room for internet browsing. The researcher explored the internet using personal computer for the availability of information that would help run the app and Android smartphone to test effectivity and reliability. The school could not compel CTNHS teacher, faculty, and staff, just in terms and the community as well to install the app. The app did not work because Fields like contact numbers, link sites, and map, and the other support networks has not been completed. The app development is a success. It helped the city NHS employees, students, and the community get notified even without phone or internet browser.